You know, Rachel, don't pick your nose. <laughs> and I was pushing her through a, a London store, a uh, pretty kind of sort of high-class London store, and she was terribly quiet in her pram, and I knew exactly that one finger was lost up one nostril. <laughs> uh, but I decided not to say, Rachel, don't pick your nose for the 50th time that day. There was a long pause, and suddenly a little triumphant voice said, Bogey! <laughs> They have great natural timing, don't they? Oh, absolutely wonderful. They really do. Yeah. Uh, also, you've gone into, into hot water recently when you revealed in a, in a newspaper article that, um, that you're in the habit of biting your baby's bum. Yes. Right? Um, first of all, why? Oh, I can't resist. Really? I mean, oh, it's there. <laughs> yeah, and my poor daughter, I said to you, I said to her, Rachel, come here, I have to bite your bottom. And she's now two and three quarters, so she's, oh, Christ, oh, and she's goes backwards and takes her knickers down and waits for this nutter to do what it has to do with the background. But you know, I mean, the skin, the flesh, you just have to sink your teeth into it. I mean, I've got letters from... <laughs> and I've I got letters from women saying, oh, how dare you, how dare you bring sex, filthy sex oh. in with your child. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Not only my child, I'll bite anybody else. <laughs> Have you ever had your bum bitten? Do you know, I don't think I did. I think that's what I missed. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't think my mother or my father bit my, my baby's bottom. But, I mean, if I, you know, Rachel's chums, if there's a bare bottom going, it's got my teeth in it <laughs> sooner or later. Because your, 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 your bottom gained some notoriety, did it not? Uh, uh, some time ago, when you did uh, Tom Stoppard's play, was it Jumpers, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. You had to reveal your bottom. I had to bear my bottom. You had, yes. Yeah, it wasn't just one of these cases where the director thought it would be good for the play. It was actually in the text, you know. I had to do it. And so, I, I mean, the only way I could do it, I, mean, I, I made it up. Night after night, I used to put three layers of dark Egyptian <laughs> on my bum. I mean, because otherwise it just looked like a piece of old cod. <laughs> What bottoms do? I mean, you know. Do you actually have fun on stage? Oh, yes. Do you? Oh, what? yes. I believe in it. What do you do? Oh, naughtiness. Like what? <laughs> well, uh, no, for the most part, you, 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 I, I just love doing it. But, I mean, there are occasions when it becomes. Uh, and I think the, part, the thing that Dennis was talking about was in Macbeth, which is a, a very difficult play. First of all, I've actually never seen a production that works totally because of the witches and the drama of it all, and I discovered that Lady Macbeth was a great ball to do, yes. actually. And um, at one point, the director had Dennis Quilly sliding his hand down the front of my bodice and massaging a breast. And it was a matinee, it must have been. <laughs> and I muttered to him under my breath, down a bit, left a bit, right a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Golden shot. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to it? Did it collapse? Well, it collapsed, because Dennis giggles a great deal too, yes. thank God. Yes. You've, in fact, also, I mean, throughout your career, you've been more or less universally acclaimed by the critics, haven't you? Certainly in... Yeah, touching in, wood. In, in, ...in recent years. What was the worst thing that's been said about you, though? Oh, yes. I can remember. Can because you? I think every actor who's truly honest remembers their worst notice. Because it actually carves itself on your soul. You live with it for, for, for weeks before you finally exercise the pain of it. And this was a, a gentleman in New York writing about the nude scene in Abelard and Eloise. And he said, Diana Rigg is built like a brick mausoleum with insufficient flying buttresses. <laughs> live with that one too. What on earth? Doing a nude scene once more. And what's in the pipeline for the immediate future? No, I really don't know. You know, I'm sort of... I've, I'm not on that treadmill anymore. I used to be. And I quite like being at home and biting my daughter's bottom. <laughs> you invite me around the next time you do it. Diana Rigg, for the moment, thank you very much indeed. Thank, thank you. you.